Thank you. Thank you for uh, the invitation. Uh, I'm so uh, thankful for the, this chance. So basically, um, today I'm going to introduce uh, the LLM-based uh, agentic systems. But um, for this uh, LLM agent, um, we want to see that uh, it can self-improve and uh, it can work independently, which uh, in other means as uh, autonomously. And um, first of all, uh, I will just introduce what is an agent? What is an LLM-based agent? Then introduce um, to some literature reviews. Literature reviews will just uh, introduce how the LM agent just, just uh, involved from the simple prompting. Then from like, um, you can just uh, um, uh, divide, uh, just uh, decompose it, uh, the thinking uh, processes in several steps and uh, solve each step, one step by one step, and then combine them together to solve the whole complicated uh, uh, task, then um, involve two um, thinking steps that you can assess which step it's, uh, it's uh, wrong, it's uh, false, and that end, and then go back to the, the, the last step. Then eventually we know that um, it can self-reflect, it can even mimic like uh, the reinforcement learning, um, and uh, using that uh, thinking processes, we can build one by ourselves. Uh, after that, I will introduce um, um, the future prospects. So let's um, let me just um, introduce again. First, what is LLM agent? Then, what's the evolution approach from the literature reviews to uh, to build an autonomous LLM agent that can solve diverse problem solving? Then, uh, I want to introduce how to do it ourselves. Eventually, uh, last step. We want to, uh, I want to introduce that, um, what's the future? So because uh, there are so many um, areas that have been already developed based on this uh, thinking process. So first of all, what is an LLM agent? So an agent, which is a philosophical, philosophical point of view, is that um, this entity which can think I'll have a self-recognition uh, to uh, interact with uh, the complex environment. But we just uh, forget about the philosophical point of view. We just uh, think um, it can interact with the environment and deal with uh, the complex uh, tasks. But uh, from an AI agent, you may just um, need to um, translate it into a complex um, a complex language. For example, the rule-based programming language. For example, when you just uh, con uh, converse with your computer, you need to um, enter some commands in the command line uh, interface, but we don't want to do so. Another thing is that uh, Maybe we want to translate it into vector, into an embedding, which is just number, number, number. But actually, we do also don't want to do so. So which is the good thing for the LLM-based agents is that we can just converse it with uh, the natural language. So currently, the most uh, the best lang uh, language model which can open use is the GPT-4. We can just uh, tell it with um, English, and then it the GPT-4 can just uh, perform the diverse uh, complex talks for us. So let's uh, then just um, discuss what's the motivation to build the um, LLM agent rather than just a fine tuning on the pre-trained model. So first of all, we need to understand how this uh, large language models can perform so much diverse tasks and uh, why it has uh, such amazing abilities. So to begin with, to find to, to pre-train that, um, we know that for uh, decoder model, for the transformer model, they just use uh, the online language materials such as Wikipedia test, the books and the web pages called Common Crawl. And to train that, use the self-supervised uh, learning approach. By doing so, amazingly, when you just uh, uh, make your parameters larger, scaled, 
from from million to billion to thousand billion. Then it acquired the linguistic knowledge. Then it knows that uh, the grammar structures, right, and the common and the common rules of using a language. Another amazing thing is that uh, it has the reasoning ability to have to perform some logics, right, and uh, some common sense reasoning abilities, which can understand our real life. Uh, like a common sense tasks. And if you give it uh, some um, ad additional um, information, it will also understand some knowledge in a specific domains or some expertise in specific domains. All those things is performed by using the transformer uh, neural network and use self-attention mechanisms. However, uh, the it raises questions. So there's a, maybe sometimes a still a gap between um, if you want it to be an expert in a specific domain. Um, one thing uh, it cannot be an expert in a specific domain is that uh, right it lost the the last minute information because uh, the the transformer model will always be a closed model, closed formal model. Uh, another thing is that um, for specific domain, it always makes uh, some specific knowledge, right? And also it lacks some, maybe some expertise or skills related to a specific domain to solving that domain into like um, follow step by step, right? So then we want to ask, why don't we just define to on that? So for by fine tuning, we need to fine tune its um, uh, network parameters, but this means that we need to find the specific data size related to that the specific domains, and uh, it raises several um, challenges. We may ask. So for each domain, we need to fine tune on that. This means that um, it can be a domain expert, but it uh, just um, uh, has a trade-off between the uh, trade-off between the general uh, reality. Another thing is that if we fine-tune on the remaining our, uh, model, it may have some conflicts on the pre-trained information. Uh, it it can make making sense that because of the self um, uh, 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 attention mechanism is still a black box. You don't know that whether you feel some information on the remaining model, whether it can uh, erase some information on the remaining uh, attention has information. Um, uh, third thing is that um, if you don't scale on this uh, remaining model, the pre-trained model, you just fine tune on that using the same parameters uh, skills, it's hard to enhance the reason, reasoning ability. So it, it's, no, it's meaning no sense to use this uh, reasoning ability to help us to, to solve diverse, complex uh, reasoning uh, tasks. The fourth thing is that uh, it's due for the language models. It cannot perform very well for some spe specific uh, tasks. And the one good example is that uh, it cannot uh, do arithmetic uh, calculation, computation very well. So it means that we cannot use the LLM and uh, just relying on re uh, fine tuning to do all the tasks. We need to figure out a way to just utilize its uh, most capable ability, which I assume is the reasoning ability to do as a brain and uh, like a, a general to help us uh, solve diverse problems. Maybe like uh, just uh, retrieve the ethno tools and uh, to use that brain to help us uh, to solve the problems uh, step by step. In this way, it's called uh, prompt engineering. And, uh, but, uh, it will eventually involve the LLM agent, which can solve 
uh, more complex uh, problems and um, in an autonomous way, uh, much uh, much better than the simpler prompting engineering. So basically, back to 1875, uh, uh, the uh, the Jarrett says that uh, you don't have to care about what is uh, uh, thinking intelligent because uh, from a third perspective, if it can answer everything, you just assume that it's a thinking um, entity. So then it uh, goes to how to define an agent and how to define an AM agent. So for example, someone asks, looking at the sky, uh, do you think it will rain tomorrow? And uh, that um, LLM agent will provide it. Oh, tomorrow so, so, some 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 are saying that you need to remember. Uh, uh, you need to bring an umbrella. Uh, umbrella and uh, where the umbrella is. So this is uh, like um, the LLM agent. And this person is the environment, because uh, the LLM agent, the agent is a um, self-thinking agent, self-thinking agent. Then this person is an environmental interaction interacted with uh, this agent. But uh, the interesting thing that uh, for an LRAM agent, the the perception is uh, quite limited, right? It can only understand the textual inputs. But with the textual inputs, it can already solve a lot of uh, complex problems by using its brain. The so-called brain is uh, just uh, the ability of uh, uh, reasoning, planning. In this way, they, they can do the decision-making and uh, using their knowledge, which can be already pre-trained on their uh, neural networks or the external knowledge and with uh, a memory, which can be built up by using our engineers, using some programming skills. In this way, it can help to understand how to uh, communicate with uh, this environmental person. Like uh, for example, to retrieve a calendar in Google or just uh, retrieve your, your personal private um, information database. And by using the reasoning ability to see, oh, yes, yes you should bring an umbrella. Um, in this presentation, I will not talk about uh, the multimodal uh, LLM, which I will just uh, don't talk about uh, the other perceptions. For example, the audio perceptions, the visual perceptions, and the, like uh, the sensual perce uh, perceptions, and also, I will not talk about embodiment. But this only textual perception is already very powerful at this stage of AI. So let's just uh, focus on the textual uh, perception. So for example, uh, in the future, we may want the LLM itself can just, uh, for example, you give it a textual form of uh, information it can just uh, help you to solve whatever prop, uh, tasks without uh, even detailed instructions. So, right, we want uh, a mere LLMs as an agent in the future, but uh, it is not possible to do so. So, for example, if you ask it uh, some simple high school physics problems, just without any instruction, it uh, will fail to answer your questions. In this way, we need to give it some instructions and we need to do some programming engineering to instruct it to solve these questions correctly. So with LLM and the rule-based program, uh, programming, then it is currently how an LLM agent can do. So how to do so? The LLM agent, as I just talked about a few minutes ago, has uh, the good reasoning ability and the common sense reasoning ability. In this way, we, will, we can let this uh, LLM agents to plan, to decompose it, uh, a complex, complex tasks 
into small small plans. And uh, also for each plan, just the reason how to solve this a small small a small goal. And uh, after that, it will self evaluate whether I'm answering in it correctly, whether I'm just uh, generating hallucination, I'm just uh, creating the, the false information. Also, it also has the uh, ability to self-reflect. So if I just answer it incorrectly, what I made it wrong, eventually it will know, okay, I got uh, the answer for the total, for the uh, whole task and end a task. By doing so, you need to let a human to engineer the per precise by giving some instruction in the prompt, um, by showing it uh, some examples, by just uh, link or chain each uh, component together and um, systematically to eventually solve these problems. By doing so, you can also utilize some external tools, for ch such as the calculator, calendar, and search engine, with its uh, reasoning ability as a decision maker. Um, now, uh, I, as I have already introduced uh, the general prospect of uh, how to be uh, of uh, an LLM agent, what is it? Now I can do um, literature reviews of uh, how the scholars to build an uh, autonomous LLM agent. It starts from the simple prompting chain of thought, a rack retrieval augmented generator to an, auto, to an agent which can self-reflect, can self-improve. Eventually to um, agent which uh, you can see that uh, it can independently work by themselves to some extent. So from the most simple stage, um, like uh, prompt engineering, actually not prompt engineering, from the simple, just the IO, you ask um, the LLM GPT-4 or GPT-2.5 um, a question, and you expect it to answer you the, the question to, uh, correctly such as you can ask uh, the GBT, what is an LM agent? What's uh, the, the, it will answer you, provide you some pre-trained information, right? But if you ask it, what's today's NBA match score? It won't answer you correctly because it contains the up-to-date information. Also, you may ask it, uh, how to solve this 24 point game? it seems like cannot answer you correctly as well because the current print chain information cannot answer you uh, in a simple way to solve it in a correct way. You have to instruct it. Then uh, you will try to instruct it by using the pumping engineering. First of all, you may ask it to answer it in a more uh, intuitive way, such as to give it a persona, like um, I'm a child, you, the, the persona of yourself is a, a patient a teacher to answer me as a, a child, a, a teacher in, in elementary school. Also, you may ask it, you should generate a, a format in a certain structure, standard structure, such as uh, the JSON format. Also, you think that it cannot uh, answer it very correctly. It cannot answer your questions um, 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 in the, the format you expected. Then you need, you need to give it an example called um, K-Shot Learning. So you give it one example called One-Shot Learning, give K examples called K-Shot Learning. Then it will follow the pattern of the, the examples you give it try to mimic that the patterns. Oh, the last one. The last one is uh, up to that verse, the um, chain of thought. The last one is um, you let it to think step by step. By doing so, it will just generate the thinking process 
step by step and eventually can actually increase the, the accuracies of the answers. So just the, from the step by step to the decomposite task, which is the chain of thought. So yes, you can use the, 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 the chain of thought uh, instruction to let it think step by step, and then eventually it will generate the precises. But uh, there's also other um, chain of thought steps, which is a little bit different from the um, think step by step, but uh, have a similar um, uh, ways to to instruct uh, the LLM. You just this, uh, let it like uh, first devise a plan to plan something, then have all that then solve the plan step by step. In this way, it can further improve the, the uh, problem solving ability of the LLM. And uh, also uh, you can just um, another parallel approach like uh, you ask it to self ask. So for example, uh, do you think for this, for this step, what do you think of which one, um, which question to propose? And then the GPT 3.5, this is GPT 3, not 3.5, GPT 3. And uh, for the GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 can ask itself, which can further improve the ability of uh, the simple, let's think step by step. Then we may ask, so because um, the, the closed form of LLM do not contain up-to-date information, do not contain some specific skills such as a calendar, uh, weather tool, or like uh, the calculator, or like uh, the Google search engine, whether you can use it, the ASTNO tool, because uh, ASTNO tool uh, can be proved to be a more expert than yourself. In this way, this react reason and action uh, paper just to propose that uh, at each small uh, decomposite step, it can um, reason uh, and make a decision. At this step, I need to search online. At this step, I need to use a calculator to assist me. By doing so, it proved that uh, it can indeed do so. In this, in this way, it also proved that an LLM like a GPT-3 and GPT-3.5 can actually um, decide which two to use to assist, uh, assist itself. Actually, um, uh, in, the middle of the, in the middle stage of the presentation, I will just uh, bring about some information how to do so. After that, we may ask, whether it can self-improve. But to self-improve, first of all, you need to know that whether at this uh, loop or this iterations of uh, problem solving, I made it wrong, or there's uh, some room to improve. So in this way, we need to add, add an evaluator to first to assess what's the result, what's the, the, the errors um, to improve. By doing so, this literature called the self refin um, found that actually LLM itself can, um, in, in, can indeed evaluate itself after the evaluation and do some refinement or self-improvement. Mm. And, uh, in, and uh, combining the self-improvement and self-assessment, um, another loop, next um, iteration, it can self-improve and produce better, uh, better thinking processes, better results. Um, actually, this paper just proved that uh, the, the creative writing can be done by using this approach. And later, in parallel, which I think is, is a better uh, paper than the previous one, uh, self repent but uh, published in, in archive in the same time called self-reflection. Again, it can self-assess uh, um, uh, self its result to see whether the, at the current step, it will lead to a dead end. 
And uh, also, it um, then if it's a lead to that end, it will reflect why for to this step, I made it wrong. Uh, I goes to a self uh, self end, so, uh, do a self reflection, and save that self reflection to a long term memory. Later, you can just uh, retrieve it. And for the next iterations of thinking processes, put the self reflection task combining with the um, like uh, the the evaluation evaluation to back to the LLM into the, the prompt. And then the LLM knows, um, I should not go to this directory of thinking processes. I should go to this directory of thinking processes. Then in this way, actually it uh, just uh, fulfill uh, a goal, which is called the re reinforcement learning without fine tuning the, the parameter, the network parameters. By just uh, using to by just uh, saving the self reflection task as um, uh, additional information to help the system to self reinforce itself, self learning. Then we ask, actually in this uh, this um, paper we already just have some some. Um, general intuition that actually for solving a problem, you have several directories, several directories, and you can just go go this way, go that way, whatever. Then it brings us a um, question. So you have several uh, thought trajectories to, to probe which one to choose, which one's the optimal one. So for a direct one, for the LO, you just ask a question, it will just instantly give you an answer. And for chain of thought, you just uh, make it to generate the thinking processes. But they ask you one choice of thought. Then for the self-consistency, it is such that uh, LRM itself can actually produce several parallel thinking processes. But which one to choose? You just uh, make it a vote by just the vote it. Eventually, the res uh, which result has the most vote. E eventually, I, uh, I decide to use uh, the most devoted result. But the, the deficiency of this self-consistent processes is that um, actually, you don't have to make the thinking processes in parallel. They can inter uh, interleave inter uh, interleaved with each other. This is called the tree of thought. The tree of thought is that uh, for the the mo uh, for the hier hierarchy for the first uh, high level hierarchy, it brings out uh, some big plan. Then, then after that, it brings out. Um, uh, another several plans for each plan, each big plan. But you need to go to see which trajectory is right because sometimes it, it will go to a dead end. But you, we all know that for programming, there's called uh, the depth first um, search and <laughs> Bryce uh, first search. If for the depth first search, you can always go to them, seems like the most optimal path. But if it's a dead end, go back to the to the previous uh, step and uh, goes to the, the other the other thinking processes. This is called the tree of thoughts. In this way, it already is pretty like that how we solve a problem uh, from a human view, human like uh, point of view. We actually, when, when we try to solve a um, complicated problem, we actually did this uh, kind of processes. Uh, another one, which is pretty similar to the, the tree of sauce called the uh, graph of sauce. I will, I will not uh, introduce too much at this uh, limited time, but basically uh, the, the improvement based on the, the tree of sauce that uh, it uh, do not just uh, 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 always make the nodes 
bigger, 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 bigger. Sometimes it can be can combine to each other because um, um, when each trajectory of source may bring about uh, each uh, uh, each stance, how to say, each aspect of um, uh, each angle of a uh, problem solving, but actually they are not contradicted with each other. They can combine them together to make the information to be more full. So this is uh, the improvement based on the trivial thoughts. Also, there's uh, a trivial stuff. It just, uh, it can self refrain on the remaining small steps. So anyway, to conclude, a genuine problem solving processes, it's just the repeatedly use of the available information on the small step and uh, make it the iterative uh, uh, precise the solving until this uh, small solution has been done. And uh, we just uh, solve each small solution and combine them together. We got uh, the, the big solution to achieve. This is how we human beings solve our problems. And we expect the agent can solve those problems also. Same with the LLM-based agent. So basically, uh, to illustrate the, the, the processes. So there's a, a task we want to decompose it into several small problems. And uh, uh, we just solve the small problems. The small problems can like uh, reason uh, upon that and uh, use it, um, the pre-trained information on your new network or use the external uh, tools such as Google Engine or database, whatever. And um, combine them together to reason and uh, see whether this a small step has been solved and this whether the solution is making sense using the evaluator, and put it into the short term memory. Short term memory in the AM sense means that the part of prompt, and um, uh, we have a um, uh, more prompt including the solving processes. Give it. Uh, and the latter to, to plan to the next step and do the iterative uh, uh, processes. Eventually, it will decide whether this uh, sub-step uh, can go to deeper or whether we should go to the, the last step. And uh, if we, we f finally find the answer, uh, we just then uh, make it an output. For the self-reflection paper, that uh, uh, what's remaining, what's uh, the like uh, the the mistakes we we made, and we want to avoid that the mistakes. We can save it into a long term memory. In in this way, that uh, for similar uh, uh, problems, we can just retrieve our long term memory, right? We, we human being also do so, and uh, provide it as a content information to let it to learn. So this is uh, how the reflex uh, agent do. Uh, I won't uh, introduce too much. As I said, that uh, it can be the, the reinforcement learning, just a real self-reflective uh, task without functioning the, the parameters, just using the additional long-term memory. And uh, this page indicates that uh, several LLM can be fine-tuned to, to be just an expert to, to know which tool to use. This included two former or gorilla, but actually for GPT-4, um, as a, it's a good reasoner, it can already learn which tool to use. You just give it descriptions for each tool. For example, you have uh, options like for uh, calendar, for weather, and then you give a, a, a description for weather. So this is uh, for uh, indication of the uh, weather of uh, this city. And for the calculator, you say that this is the expert for arithmetic calculation. And uh, for GP4, it can just uh, do it for zero shot learning to know which tool to use. But for these tools, they are fine tuned to, to be an expert, to know which tool to use, uh, which API and which arguments to feel to, to do, do so. Uh, this is trivial, but I already explained that uh, how to make the, uh, the LM to know which tool to use. 
and go back to uh, how to build an LLM agent. And before that, let's say, first of all, for lit from literature review point of view, uh, first uh, uh, evolve from simple at all is an instruction prompting, and then you need to know you can help it to decompose it tasks by make it to be uh, like a general to plan everything. And then for each step to reason on each step. And then it will see how to use the external tool, such as a two former or zero shot reasoning to comp uh, to make uh, it's a deficiency, not that deficient. And then you need to add an evaluator to evaluate each step, whether this is a feasible, this is wrong step, or whether you need to go back to the last step. And eventually we want to know that uh, there are so many uh, trajectories to, to solve a problem, which one to choose. And we can use our tree of source, similar, or graph of source, similar approach. This is uh, how, um, basically, this is how, uh, from the literature review point of view, to, to build an LLM agent. Um, so to use this um, plan, uh, uh, plan ability, uh, reasoning ability, self-evaluation ability, to break down the problems one, one step by one step and retrieve external information and execute it and to combine the external results into the, your contest to, to solve the, the complicated problems. So in this way, we know how to create our own, our own independent uh, autonomous LLM agent. So basically, as I said, one, uh, uh, so many times, just uh, decomposing the, the complex uh, task into several small step tasks, solve each step and uh, observe the, the, uh, the, 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 the solution of each step. And uh, if uh, that, that, that proved to be, to be correct, then we will find an answer. But by doing so, this uh, small stacks is uh, just um, using a simple task and uh, ask to know information. And uh, from the, uh, the textual form of uh, LLM, we just uh, uh, always uh, use um, textual context information to assist it uh, reasoning uh, processes. And uh, we need to, to use some programming uh, uh, programming approaches to 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 understand which tool to to use. Uh, in this way, we need to make it to 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 pass into a structure output such as a JSON. In this way, we can do some programming uh, in our old-fashioned standard way. So, in conclusion. The way to, to, to build a complex task is just uh, you just uh, decompose it, uh, the complex task into small steps, but you have so many plans. You just choose the optimal one and uh, reason on this task, uh, find the intermediate answer. And uh, by using uh, intermediate answer and uh, uh, this in intermediate uh, intermediate answer is uh, by 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 reasoning on the small steps. Uh, by uh, by the sim sim simply textual output from the LLM, and uh, the output can be used as a uh, um, an action. For example, uh, whether for this, let's continue. So, so, um. Uh, yes, so what I want to say. So you, uh, eventually you want you, you want the LLM to help you de decide which tool to use, which action to take and pass it into a structure output. And it will then uh, help you to understand um, which tool and uh, what's the reason for the smallest processes and uh, use an evaluator to decide whether this step is a dead end or not. If uh, it's uh, not, then proceed to the next step. Otherwise, go back to the, the previous uh, 
plan task, uh, choose a second optimal uh, uh, plan to do and go to the same precise until to the final answer. And uh, um, the, the audience can go to my, my Medium article to, to see that uh, how to build an uh, autonomous agent yourself. Ourselves. The time is al 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 almost li limiting. Let's go, go to the next step. So basically, the, the, this is the, how the prompt is, is looks like. You give it uh, the general instruction to like to, to know what uh, your personal is uh, to, to for solving this problem, and uh, give it the previous uh, information such as um, the the previous talk and the last steps answers, last step uh, precising, uh, precising uh, uh, solving precises, and uh, some retrieved information from the your external tool and uh, some examples. For example, you can mimic this uh, uh, this solving precises to solve your uh, uh, problems uh, in this small steps, and this is uh, the the Zudo code that you you can refer to the to the to, to the article. Okay, sure. So. Um, in, uh, the, the time is all, almost uh, limiting. So uh, by doing so, there's a lot of uh, things you, we can do, such as uh, the AI companions and uh, the self um, uh, and the interacting uh, game. They can just uh, self-motivated to interact with the environment and the code generation and self-improvement. Um, just um, and also the engineering project management by just to make it a different uh, persona and it's a different uh, 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 problem solving processes, different tasks. And also for the deep man, it uh, try to use the pre-trained LLM to solve the symbolic calculation. And eventually to do, to, to make it as a, uh, an alter alternative as an operating system. Because of our operating system, you need to arrange the parallel work, uh, the task to know which one is more prepared. Pre pre but uh, for the rule-based algorithms, it is not more flexible. And eventually one step towards the AGI, which is uh, the called uh, Schmidt, Huber and uh, uh, the 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 natural language based society of men. So, in conclusions, this uh, agent ALLM based uh, agentic system can help you to solve the problems uh, in a systematic way, and uh, to each LLM can be a tool to solve uh, 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 problems uh, for a specific domain, and eventually. Um, the all the LLMs can together can solve the all complex uh, problems. So this is uh, my presentation. Thank you.